What's up guys? I'm here at the premiere of Belts, Bras, and Packing Tape, and we're gonna go meet some of the crew and some of the cast that worked on this project. All right, so I am here with the co-creators, Camellia and Bella. Are you guys so excited for this tonight? Oh my God. I'm really not looking forward to it at all. It's going to be terrible. I, I don't know why people showed up. I have no idea. And what is the name of the film we're seeing tonight? The title is Belts, Bras, and Packing Tape. We read this article, um, it's very recent, from the Chicago Tribune. It was talking about 75 brutal murders of women. And the common cause of death was strangulation. And the common items used were belts, bras, ropes, and packing tape. How long did it take you to make this short film? Um, we started working on it in January. And then we filmed in June. Yeah, we shot it in... Four days. Four days. And it was nice to have a good team. Our company's yeah. been alive for about four years, so we've been able to delegate to really talented people. You had predominantly a full female team, right, on this film as well? Oh, yeah. Pretty much all our projects, actually. Yeah. All the, we're mainly, but we have a lot of male allies, and we love our male allies. Yeah, a well, lot of women. Honestly, the reason that we came about it was because we were just having a hard time getting a team together, and women naturally just started gravitating towards us. It's more of a psychological <laughs> thriller, so you don't need to be too afraid. We yeah. just hope it messes the, with you, the just idea a little is bit. scary. I can't wait. I am here with Jen. She is also another female that was on this film, and she is the director. What was your favorite part about working on this project? Um, I think it was, for me, kind of diving into a genre that I don't usually work with, and we're really trying to get this message across that every woman every day wakes up and, and like on her way to work or on her way home from work, especially at night, stark, and you might not be actively looking around every corner and waiting for someone to jump out, but you're always just in the back of your mind, you're always on the defense. And we just kind of accept that as part of our lives. What was one of the biggest struggles you felt like while you were filming? Some of the struggles were, we didn't have a permit to be out on the sidewalk filming, so we were always just kind of watching out for cops. My name is Lauren Poole and I play Marilyn in the film. I am like the ghost of Christmas past for this film. I guess you could call me that. What did you do? What did you have to do to prep for your role? When you get into the makeup, immediately you can be in character in two seconds. You look in the mirror and you see yourself and that does it does a lot to your psyche too, which is kind of crazy. I thought for so long that I wanted to do a horror film, but once you're there, you don't realize the intensity that goes into it. It's a different tone on set. It's fun and games, but when you really get down into it and you're doing the character and you're doing the scenes, you're like, just, it's, an, it, it's eerie, it's creepy. Hi, my name is Kirsten Bolton. I did the makeup and the special effects makeup. Nice, how long have you been doing special effects makeup? I kind of just fell into makeup in my 20s and then that just was kind of boring for me, you know, just the everyday makeup and the glamour look, and I just kind of wanted to challenge myself. What's your favorite horror film that you were like, the makeup was so cool, I would have loved to work on that? The movie that really stuck with me as a kid and kind of traumatized me would be Hellraiser. The gore and the makeup in it, it just, it turns your stomach and you want to look away, but at the same time, so intrigued. What was a struggle that you had while working on this film? I know there had to be something, there's no, no? You know, it was surprisingly so smooth. Um, the, the one thing that was kind of difficult was I had to do the same makeup three days in a row. So just recapturing the exact trauma marks and bruising and yeah, that was a little challenging day three. If I have a tough enough time when I'm like, oh, I have to do my wing liner yeah, the exact same. I, on each eye. Do you, do, do you struggle with that too? I no? do, I feel like that I have that tonight, but that's okay. Oh, there's hope for me, okay. okay. 